The Maldives is a coastal island nation with only 1% of the country being land and the other 99% is ocean. The average height of the Maldives is only one metre, which comes up to about here on me. And the maximum height is 2.5 metres, which is a little bit up there. The Maldives is completely dependent on the ocean and coast. The people of the Maldives rely on the coast to catch fish, to eat or to sell, as well as for tourists to come and visit. It's also important for the Maldivian people and their families. As far back as history dates, the ocean and coast has been used as a location for families and friends to spend time with each other and have fun. And speaking of history, let's look at the history of the atolls and how they were formed. Now remember, the islands of the Maldives are grouped together in atolls that are roughly circular in shape. But ours here is a love heart shape. Now these atolls were formed a hundred million years ago when the Indian tectonic plate was slowly moving north into the Asian tectonic plate, eventually crashing into it and creating the Himalayas. Now as the Indian tectonic plate was moving, it passed over a hot spot. This is an area in the Earth's crust where magma breaks through and creates volcanoes. And as the tectonic plate moved, more of these volcanoes formed, eventually creating a long chain two and a half thousand kilometers long. And the Maldives makes up 870 kilometers of this chain. And this chain is called the Chagos Lacadives Ridge. Now where these volcanoes reached the surface of the ocean, coral reefs grew around them. And over time, the volcanoes eventually sunk under their own weight. But the coral reefs, they grew upwards and outwards, eventually becoming the islands and atolls that we stand on today. And there's actually two kilometers of old dead coral reef between where I'm standing now and the volcano that's beneath. The only type of rock that we have here in the Maldives is coral rock. Now this used to be mined and turned into important buildings such as mosques. And then later on, it was used to create other buildings like houses or walls. But now coral mining is no longer allowed. Our beaches are actually made of this coral as well. Once it's dyed and then broken down, it becomes the sand that we stand on. The Maldives is known to have some of the whitest beaches in the world, but there'll be more about colorful corals and their bleaching in a future episode. The coast can be made up of many different habitats and combinations of habitats. Here in the Maldives, we have our coral reefs, seagrass meadows, beaches, mangrove forests, and even jungle vegetation like this around me. It's time to get creative. We want you to make an animal that lives on the coast near you. Try using clean recycled materials that are around your house. Or maybe if you have some crafting goods, you can use those instead. We want to know all about different coasts and animals. Over here in Lamu, we have a lot of turtles. So I made Tula, the turtle. It's made out of cardboard box, some old toilet paper rolls, some masking tape to hold it all together, and then a marker to give it some details. Have a go yourself. What do you think, Tula? Was that good? Yeah. Bah.